Hey guys, so a little while ago I posted on Instagram that I would answer the top 10 questions and make a video for YouTube, so here it is. The first question was submitted by at abarbie314 and he asked, what's the most rewarding thing you've done with your life? Well, I'm going to have to go with learning how to ride a motorcycle and that's because it's pretty much opened up a whole new world that I never even knew existed. Um, had I not learned how to ride a motorcycle, I would have never entered the 24-hour endurance race that I did on a Honda Grom. I would have never done the road trip from San Francisco to LA. So I pretty much would have not known about all these cool things that are out there. Um, so it's definitely enriched my life and I'm, I'm very grateful for that. At underscore motivation underscore asked, do you think you will be writing until a very old age? Well, I certainly hope so. I mean, I can't predict the future, so I don't know what will happen. But if I'm feeling good health-wise and everything works, then yes, I, d I definitely want to keep writing until a very old age. At Drift Stallion asked, what was it like the first time you dragged me? It was actually kind of scary because um, I wasn't sure what had happened and I know that you shouldn't focus on dragging me. It's something that's supposed to come naturally with good body position but that day I was on my way to Alice's which is a popular biker spot in NorCal and I told myself, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Today's the day. I'm going to drag me. So I was coming up on a turn where I knew that I could get over really far and I set it all up. I got my butt cheek off the seat. I, um, I, uh, I stuck my knee really far out and um, I pretty much did everything that everyone was telling me to do. And then I felt this jolt and I thought, shoot, I, I did something wrong, <laughs> something that unsettled the bike. Um, but then when I realized that I had dragged knee and that's what caused the jolt. Then I was pretty excited and I wanted to tell the whole world. So scary, uh, but exciting. At SS Pilot asked, what made you start writing? And I actually got that question a lot. Um, I'm, I'm sorry I don't have a really cool story to tell you guys. I didn't start writing when I was four years old or at a super young age like some of you did. And I don't have anyone in my family who influenced me. I, I'm actually the only one in my family who writes. But it all started in 2007 when I was offered a position. And one of my tasks was to post MotoGP results to motorcycle websites. And I thought, okay, I can do it. It seems pretty simple. Um, but at the time, I didn't know much about motorcycles. Then I started watching the MotoGP races and I got really into them. I thought, wow, these guys are, are really talented and what they do seems really cool. So, and I kind of want to be like them. So I took the MSF course, I um, got my M1 license, and then shortly after I bought myself a little 250 and I, I rode that for four years. And then after that I got my 300. So yeah, that's how it all started. At Dave S. Visions asked, what are your pet peeves? And I'm not sure in in what context because I have I have a few, but you know all different situations. Uh, I guess if we're gonna continue with the motorcycle theme, then I'll give one based on that. And um, one of my biggest pet peeves when riding is when I'm splitting lanes. I live in California, so it's legal here, and a car intentionally tries to block me so I can't get through. That's pretty aggravating. I mean, it's scary enough splitting lanes, but when a car does that, it's it's very frustrating and, and not cool, not cool at all. Um, let's see. At one buff hamster asked, are you single? Yes, I am single. Uh, I'm actually newly single. I was in a relationship for six years and now I'm not anymore, so uh, it's a little weird and scary, but exciting at the same time. So 
I know. We'll see what's out there or who's out there. <laughs> I actually want to go back to the pet peeve thing um, because I'm newly single. One of uh, my pet peeves in the context of dating is when a guy tries to make plans with me at the last minute. Um, that's to me that it seems that when a person does that either their other plans fell through or they're just not really serious about it so I would definitely prefer when a guy um, asks me out at least a week in advance so that's ac actually another pet peeve of mine <laughs> at Max Reisig and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly Max is actually one of my friends and I've never had to pronounce his last name until now he asked, what are three things that make you most happy? Well, number one, I would definitely have to say spending time with my sisters and my nieces and nephews. Um, always have a great time doing that, and that makes me pretty happy. So that would be number one. Number two, well, riding a motorcycle, duh. For me, at least, riding a motorcycle is one of the best feelings in the world. It just makes me feel so free and, and so alive. So definitely at the top of my list. And number three, listening to really, really good music. I mean, the kind of music that really makes you feel something. When you're listening to a song and you can relate to it, um, and it makes you feel, you know, whether it's sad or, or happy or whatever, as long as it makes you feel something and the song's really good, then that makes me happy. Good music makes me really happy. Speaking of good music, at Gabo Gabo 23 asked, what is your favorite Led Zeppelin song? And that's a really tough question because I have many and I'm sure most Led Zeppelin fans are that way. But um, just for the sake of answering the question, I guess 10 years gone, is a really beautiful song. The lyrics are awesome. The vocals are amazing. And from what I've read, it's a song that was written about Robert Plant and a woman that he dated and he was very in love with. But at some point in their relationship, she said, it's either me or your music. And obviously he chose this music because he was very passionate and really believed in it. But it was a really tough situation for him. And I've never actually had uh, anyone that I dated put me in that position. And I'm really grateful for that. But um, yeah, probably why I have to find a guy who rides motorcycles. Let's see. At H31NZ asked, who is your favorite MotoGP pilot? And before I answer that question, uh, I'm going to have to say that I respect all MotoGP riders. I think what they do is, is pretty awesome. The fact that they put their lives on the line every time they go out there on the track because of their passion for the sport is, is really admirable. So, um, yeah, definitely props to them. Having said that, Casey Stoner, one of my favorites. He's a great guy to begin with. I actually interviewed him once. He's very polite and articulate um, on the track. He's a beast. He's super fast, very talented guy. Really wish he would come back. Uh, however, I know that he has a sweet gig as a test writer for HRC, and I'm sure he's having a great time hanging out with his wife and his kids. So. Best wishes to Casey. And finally, the last question was submitted by at DrummerJ322, and he asked, what are some of your favorite hobbies not including writing? Well, Jay, I don't really consider writing a hobby just because it's pretty much become my lifestyle. I mean, I don't even own a car, so anyway, I. I don't know. I don't have a lot of hobbies. Hobbies are expensive and uh, they're time consuming and I feel like motorcycles take up most of my time and a lot of my money. So um, I do have other interests. For example, I just 
started getting back into fitness, so working out and eating right so that I can look and feel good. And also reading books. I feel like a lot of people don't read anymore. Um, so I, I do enjoy doing that. Hunter S. Thompson is one of my favorite authors. So that's it. Those were the 10 questions. Thank you guys so much for submitting them. I'm very humbled and I'm so glad that you guys actually read my posts. So please continue to do that so I can make more of these videos and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.